Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to find a real-world item in the Learning Commons. We'll start by going to the Learning Commons homepage at this web address. You will see the Books and More tab is already highlighted, so all you have to do is enter what you are looking for in the search box and hit the search button. We'll use architecture as an example. Now, on the search results page, you will see books, ebooks, DVDs, and anything else that has to deal with architecture in the list. Now, since we're looking for a real-world book, we're going to need to narrow that down. So we're going to use the modify search link at the top of the results page. Here I can alter my search and add limiters, just like an advanced searching databases. We're going to use the material type box and search for printed MTL, which is printed material, and hit the submit button to alter the search. As you can see, so there are plenty of options to limit your search, eBooks, DVDs, kits, audiobooks, more. The modify search screen is a great way to find exactly what you're looking for. Now, back on my results screen, I will see all the print books in the Learning Commons about architecture. I suggest now that we write down the call number and the title. This will help you find the book or make it easier for the Learning Commons staff to help you find the book. Feel free to ask anyone for help anytime. If you want to do this yourself, there are some great YouTube videos on how to find a book by the Library of Congress call number which is what the Learning Commons uses. Once you have found the book you want, just bring it to the Learning Commons help desk and we will check it out for you and tell you when it's due back. Learning Commons items will be lent for three weeks and you can renew that twice, each for an additional three weeks. So you can have them up to nine weeks. Just remember to renew it or call us and let us know. If you need it for longer than nine weeks, please ask us and we'll see what we can do. As long as no one's waiting for it, it might be possible. Now you have searched for a book and you found the book and you borrowed the book and you know when to bring it back. That's it, you've got it. Next time I will show you how to request items from other libraries and have them sent to CMCC for you to use. That's all for now. See you next time.